Hello, hello, it is Stories for Kids with me, Morel. Yes, it's that time. It's ring a ding a ding 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 ding. Story bell. Ring a ding a ding 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 ding. Ring a ding a ding 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 ding. <laughs> it is Stories for Kids, and Birdie's along, is coming along with me. Hello, Birdie. Hi again, Birdie. Okay, good to have Birdie. And I hope everyone's fine. I hope you're all fine and that you are sitting comfortably and now waiting for me to begin this story. And this story is about a horse. Yes, H O R S E, a horse. Okay, fine. Let me begin the story about the horse. In our village, there was an old, old man. His name was Pimem Timo. Pimem Timo. That was the man's name. He was 90 years old. He was living at the house of his grandson. And because he was 90, of course, he was doing no work. Pimen Timos, the old man, his back was bent. He walked with a cane and moved his feet slowly. He had no teeth at all, and his face was wrinkled. His lower lip trembled when he walked and when he talked. His lips smacked together. And one could not understand what he was saying. Now, we were four brothers and we were fond of riding But we had no gentle riding horses. We were allowed to ride only on one horse. The name of the horse was Raven. One day, Mama allowed us to ride, and all of us went with the manager to the stable. The coachman saddled Raven for us, and my eldest brother was the first to take a ride. I mean, he rode for a long time. He rode to the threshing floor and around the garden. And when we came back, we all shouted, Now, gallop, gallop past us. My elder brother began to strike Raven with his feet and with the whip, and Raven galloped past us. After him, my second brother mounted the horse. I mean, he too rode for quite a while, and he too urged Raven on with the whip and galloped up the hill. He wanted to ride longer, but my third brother begged him to let him ride at once. My third brother rode to the threshing floor and around the garden and down the village and raced uphill to the stable. When he rode up to us, Raven, the horse, was panting and his neck and shoulders were dark from sweat. When my turn came, I wanted to surprise my brothers and to show them how well I could ride. So I began to drive Raven with all my might. 
but he did not want to get away from the stable. And no matter how much I beat him, he would not run, but only she'd and uh, turned back. I grew angry at the horse and struck him as hard as I could with my feet and with the whip. I tried to strike him in places where it would hurt most. I broke the whip and began to strike his head and what was left of the whip. But Raven, the horse, would not run. Then I turned back, rode up to the manager and asked him for a a stout whip. But he said to me, Don't ride any more, young man. Get down. What use is there in torturing the horse? I felt offended and said, But I had not had a ride yet. Just watch me gallop. Please. Give me a good size switch. I will burn him up. Then the manager shook his head and said, Young man, you have no pity. Why should you burn him up or heat him up? He is twenty years old. The horse is worn out. He can barely breathe. And he's old. He's so very old. Just like Pimem, Timo, the old man. You might just as well sit down on Timo's back and urge him on with a switch. Well... Would you not pity him? I thought of the old man, Timon, Timo, and listened to the manager's words. I climbed down from the horse, and when I saw how his sweaty sides hung down, how he breathed heavily through his nostrils, and how he switched his bald tail. I understood that it was hard for the horse. Before that, I used to think that it was as much fun for him as for me. I felt so sorry for Raven that I began to kiss his sweaty neck and to beg his forgiveness for having beaten him. Since then, I have grown. Yes, I am a young man. And I always am careful with the horses and always think of Raven and Pim and Timo whenever I see anybody torture a horse. Oh, the end of the story. Hello, Birdie. That was a bit of a sad story, but there's a lesson there, isn't there? Okay, stories for kids. I will be back. I will be back. I will be back with a, a different story. I will be back soon, so look out for the next video and be good, be very, very good. I'll see you then. All right, okay, bye for now. Bye.